By this point, you should be aware that you can create events on your WordPress site and import those into Eventbrite. But you can also do the opposite, which is create an event on Eventbrite, either publish it or leave it in draft format, whichever you prefer, and import that into WordPress. When you do so, it'll create a new event entry on your WordPress site, and within that entry, you can display the ticket sales so that users can buy tickets to your event through Eventbrite. That's what we're going to do right now, and even though I'm on the dashboard of my site right now, this isn't where we're going to be starting. We're going to be starting over on Eventbrite. Specifically right here. This is an event that I just published a few minutes ago. You'll see it's pretty complete. It's in the future. It has tickets attached to it, even though ticket sales haven't started yet. There's a description, a venue, and an organizer. I'm satisfied with this, and I just want to go ahead and import it. So what I need to do is copy the event ID. That's this string of numbers right here. And don't worry if you haven't actually published your event live, because even on the edit page on the Eventbrite side, you also have the event ID. For example, let's look at this same event, but on the quote-unquote back end of Eventbrite where I can make changes to it. You'll see in the URL bar here too, I have this event ID. And so regardless of where I find it first, all I want to do is just copy it to my clipboard and go to the back end of my WordPress site. Assuming I have the events calendar and the Eventbrite tickets out on active, what I'm going to do is come to this events section and I'm going to go to import events. The page that it takes me to will have a little description on how to find the event ID down the road if I ever need to again. And more importantly, a field to actually paste the event ID that we just copied. That's what I'm going to do right now, and I'm going to hit go so the system can work its magic. When it's done, you'll see exactly what we expect it to happen, happened. The event carried over with the same title, same description, the time is correct, the venue, the organizer carried over. Really, the only thing that didn't get done is the assigning of categories, which I never actually was able to set on the Eventbrite side to begin with. So if I want to add a category, I'll add that right now. And otherwise, I'm done. This event, while still in draft format on WordPress, is already live on Eventbrite. So all I would need to do is publish it here on WordPress. If I want to go make any further changes to the event on the Eventbrite side, I do have this handy little Eventbrite event ID link. I can click it, and it takes me to the event entry page for the event we were just looking at. And so really we have a finished product here, but if you try to import the same event twice, the system is not going to let you do that. Let's try what we just did again. Here you'll see it's not going to work, event already imported. If you see this message, it means that the event that you're trying to import exists somewhere in the system. So make sure that you go through, double check that it's not there, delete any existing events you have, and try again. You're not going to see this message if the event is not in place, so really there's only one situation in which this will come up. Otherwise, if you have just a draft event on the Eventbrite side, but you still want to import it, that's totally cool too. Here's an example. This is in draft format. It's missing tickets, so it's not going to be able to actually be published until I add a ticket to it. But I can still import it to my WordPress site if I want to. Again, I'm going to come back over here, come to Events, Import Event. Drop in that uh, event ID that we just copied here, and hit go. Here we go, carried over as we expected it to. But here you'll see it is draft on Eventbrite, and here it's again telling me I can't publish unless I add a ticket. So either way, there's no way to fool the system. You're not going to be able to go draft to live without actually following through on what Eventbrite requests. But really what you've just seen here should show you how to import events, regardless of whether they're live, whether they're draft. It's a pretty straightforward process. It's the same across the board. And it's just a matter of coming in here, coming to events, and doing import events. Very straightforward, and I hope this makes sense. Thanks, guys.